Alrighty, welcome back to Weenie Trades. So in this video, I'm going to be giving a trade recap, levels and levels to watch for GameStop, Roblox, and AMC. So let's get right into it. So our first trade of the day was actually on Boeing. And Boeing, I was saying, uh, if you watch the uh, private live stream, uh, if, if you're a member of the course, we talked about Boeing, and I've been talking about it on the free videos for quite a while. Boeing looking really good off the daily time frame chart. You know, just super bullish. You know, we talked about the bull flag pop, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. And today we finally got the breakout. Boom. This morning we had this nice good bull flag on Boeing. I went ahead and went long Boeing, just over 235. And I went ahead and took some profits right at about 238 as we started to back off. Then I took another dip buy on Boeing right over here at about 235. And boom, the just, just holding this all day on Boeing. I was saying I like Boeing. I want Boeing to break that 244, which was actually the recent pivot from the daily chart. So if we look at the daily time frame and I grab this uh, price level, I was really watching to see if we could get that breakout over 244 just for that extra liquidity to get a nice good sell order filled. Boom, we broke that level, nice good move. And then as we started to curl back, I went ahead and took profits right at about 246 on Boeing. Still swing trading just a little bit more on Boeing, but Boeing really good revenue trade for us today. We still have one good wide vertical spread buying the 245 strike call and selling the 255 strike call that can still yield the $1,000 profit, but I'm capped at 255 on Boeing next week. So monster trade today on Boeing, super fun, talking a lot about it. Lots of weenie trades, uh, uh, subscribers caught that trade on their own. They they just, uh, I was just showing what I'm doing and they, they capitalized on it. So let's talk about GameStop. I said GameStop looks to be bullish. We talked about how I'm swing trading GameStop from the 150s level. Nice, good move up, barely a pullback, stop held on GameStop. Stop held the next day on GameStop. Stop held on GameStop. And I was saying, just be careful. We're starting to get uh, really parabolic. As soon as everybody's starting to talk about GameStop 1000 over here, I'm saying be careful. We're kind of looking out for some resistances. We got this nice, good ace, asymmetrical triangle over here. So a a ascending triangle, higher lows, higher lows into a flat top resistance. Do you see that flat top resistance right over there? Right at about, you know, the 325 level. We got a nice good push up. I said, watch out for the 347 level. 347, I repeated it quite a few times. It pulled back, spiked a little bit, but then we did a false breakout and really started dump. And on this candle, I said, watch out. Watch out for GameStop. And boy, GameStop started to really flush. I actually stopped out of my share for profit. You know, I was just a little baby profit today. But uh, based on the weighted butterfly, we were also able to take over $1,000 profit, risking $150 to make $1,000 by legging into the weighted butterfly on GameStop. So that was super fun. And then after that sell off, after we said 347 was going to likely be like a high, I didn't say it was going to be a high, but I said, watch out for the 347 area. We are extremely extended. We're up so much on the day on GameStop. I said, I'd like to get a dip by at 180, 185. Boom, nice, good flush right in the support level. And where'd the support level come from? Well, let's go to the daily time frame. The support level was this little zone from this uh, former breakout area. So we grab the body, grab the wick. This whole zone is a potential buy zone. You know, that one, one uh, 90 into 185, 170. And that's why I had two lines over there. And look at that, nice, good move. I even tried to buy GameStop right there on this green candle. I tried to buy with a nice, good stop loss underneath 172. But unfortunately, GameStop was halted and I couldn't get it. And I didn't want to chase this hammer candle. I could have, but then my stop loss was just a little bit too wide for my liking. That buy point did work out really well. Nice, good bull flag pattern. I said, hey, you could take GameStop right over here, 240, 250, with the stop loss just underneath here. You could uh, buy right there. And look, you got this nice, good push up. It went as high as about 280, 281, but then we went through an uh, equilibrium that broke bears for a bit. I said, GameStop needs to hold 230. Well, GameStop hold, held around 230. GameStop's getting super volatile. And then we started to form a nice new uptrend. So where's GameStop going? Let's check the daily time frame. The daily time frame, we've got a doji. So it's kind of like an indecisive type of day. I mean, don't get me wrong, GameStop was up, but that's mostly because of the gap. We talk about this in the course, where a doji happens can be a little bit ind indicative of where it might go. Now this is GameStop, so it does tend to defy gravity a little bit, if you ask me. There's definitely some good diamond hand handsers out there, and they're getting uh, rewarded really well for holding GameStop. But we got a doji on the daily time frame, and usually a doji at a resistance tends to favor the downside. But again, that's on normal stocks. So where's GameStop going to go? Gosh, GameStop's got to get above a lot of breakdown areas. So let's go to a little bit of a smaller time frame. GameStop for me has got to get above 325 
and then hold a higher high of a higher low after that and then resume the uptrend for that to work so 325 is that key upside break point and to me gamestop starts getting more dangerous underneath 220 and really underneath 200 gamestop underneath 200 you'd expect a lower high and lower low on that move so those are kind of our ranges everything in between is just chop shop just chop shop for gamestop so that's my analysis on gamestop let's talk about roblox rblx everybody was obsessed with roblox I brought a lot of people on the stream today it was super exciting commentating on roblox today we had such a blast it was especially fun um at the beginning so if roblox you know uh, you know uh, the new listing right there i was saying roblox over this hammer candle i said 66 looks like a good potential buy area not saying to buy i'm just saying it's a potential trade setup you could go with the stop loss underneath 63 that's what i would use or you can go with the very loose stop loss underneath 60 no red candles really just a little bit of wicks and consolidation then we form this nice good uh bull flag but we popped the bull flag and then came back in usually that means eh, that means people are willing to sell it up here so this whole area is supply up there in this 74s let's see if it'll still be supply for tomorrow we kind of pull back i talked about the bear flag that was forming do you see the bear flag we have the drop that's a sharp soft that creates the flag pull and then we start to wedge up and once we start to wedge up, we're starting to pinch. And so it's a drop base. And then right there, we start to drop. We back tested it, back tested it, flushed. And then really just sideways. I was saying Roblox likely sideways between, you know, 69 and 73. It kind of was, you know, just kind of really not nothing really key. 70, in my opinion, is going to be the key pivot level. Uh, the longer above 70, Roblox is likely to go higher. The longer we're beneath 70, Roblox is likely to go lower. We'll be keeping an eye out on Roblox tomorrow since there's a lot of people asking for it. So that was Roblox. And how could we not talk about Beyond Meat? Uh, we had to have our daily stop out of Beyond Meat. It's really becoming a meme. I keep, uh, Beyond Meat has false breakout, broken out one, two, three times in a row. And uh, the, the, those three times in a row has all re resulted in, you know, minus $55 stop outs first thing in the morning. I'm glad I stopped out and kept my risk tight. But Beyond Meat, I was watching over 143. I was like, I love Beyond Meat over 143. I really just like Beyond Meat because it can really explode up if you can catch the good move. And right here, I just got wicked in just over 143, literally pretty much the high of the day. And once we dropped, moved up, and then dropped again, I went ahead and stopped out, minus $55. The PL doesn't matter as much as the entries and exits, but at least we kept it nice and small. Beyond Meat, <laughs> that way, how many times will it, will it take to teach me, old man? <laughs> that's for sure. That's that's the meme. Let's talk a little bit about AMC. I said I was like I liked AMC for the swing trade. We had a nice good bull flag the day prior, and I was like, yeah, that's a really good bull flag. I went ahead and went long. AMC just at about 920, and uh, boom, nice good push up. And look, nice good move up again. Nice good bull flag pattern move up. Sideways consolidation, then a pop. So today, AMC, I was just trailing up tightly. I said, if we get a good pop on AMC, I'm just going to trail it. I'm going to let it give me as much money as it wants to give me. And I think it was about 1230, actually, on this tail candle. 1230 was my exit. Nice good move on AMC. Um, over 100% return on that uh, call option. So AMC, where's it headed? Well, they reported earnings. I didn't read the report, but AMC kind of a you know kind of a little bit bearish i mean we'll see how the next tomorrow's candle prints but i'm kind of neutral to slightly uh downside uh pressure unless we can really get above today's high which is you know like 1250 so 1250 is the upside break point and even then there's a lot of resistance up here so amc really just looks like it wants to potentially sell off so that's kind of my analysis on amc moving forward so be sure to check out we need trades live we had such a blast today we set records on everything we set record likes record viewership you know record fun and uh, be sure to check out um, on investing in the course and you can get access to those sunday private live streams and be sure to like comment subscribe hit the bell and i'll say you i'll see you tomorrow good night